actually, I shot my Mark 23 SOCOM in real life, and holy shit, that thing is quiet! We must find the men of science and institutes of learning. Surely they are out there still. I can shoot it indoors with the suppressor on it without hearing protection. That means the gun is super quiet or that your hearing has deteriorated. I can do it. It's not pleasant. The fact that I can shoot this gun in an enclosed space with the suppressor on it is indicative of like how good 45 suppressed is. And how because bad your hearing has gotten. Shooting a gun in an enclosed space is absolutely deafening and if it's a loud enough gun can cause like physical injury and extreme pain. Is that a 9 mil? No, it's a 45. 45? I don't know. You should be, I feel like you should be wearing headphones for that. Well, with the suppressor on it, actually, and see, it's kind of, it, this is counterintuitive because 45 is inherently subsonic. Uh, I think you mentioned that, yeah. Yeah. 45 never really breaks the sound barrier. I mean, yeah. Well, if it's subsonic, then why does it need a suppressor? Because there's still the noise of the gunshot. There, when, you, when you shoot a gun, there's actually two different noises you're hearing. The, the one noise, the one that's the really loud one, is the noise of the bullet leaving the barrel. That's the noise of the gunpowder exploding inside the gun. Okay, yeah. The second one is the noise of the bullet breaking the sound barrier, which oh. is the crack. The, the subsonic ammo neutralizes the crack? Yeah, it makes, the bullet, it makes the bullet not go snap when it goes through the air. And the suppressor suppresses the kaboom. Yeah, the, the, honestly, this is the best way I, I have found to describe what a suppressor does to the end of a gun. Think of a suppressor as a car muffler. Think about how loud, you, loud your car gets if the exhaust falls off. Well, I'm not a car guy, so that doesn't help Yeah, me. but you've got a car with like a hole in the exhaust, right? And it's just going <laughs> the entire time. That's basically what a gun without a suppressor is. It's just a car without a muffler on it. Mm, okay. Yeah. Because you, you just have the explosion is just venting out to the air. Wow, I learned something in the first four minutes today. Yeah, see, there you go. A little tiny gun rant for you. Okay, so what are we doing today? Want to go to Good Neighbor and do stuff there? Yeah, sure, let's go to Good Neighbor and do some crimes. It's only a crime if you say it's a crime. That doesn't make any sense, Zach. There's no law against crime. Actually, there's probably several laws against crime. That's what, what defines crime. Good Neighbor. Great. Great Neighbor. Good. We rescued Curie from that vault, and she's like, Ah, yes, I want to see the world of science and industry, and we take her to fucking Good Neighbor. <laughs> we take her to the slums. That's a great idea. We were supposed to see the mayor at one point. I think we were. Been yeah. talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such? The cat but, got loose. Damn, you get around. Ever been to Kill or Be Killed? Some fine looking weapons. Oh, Cleo shop! Hmm. Hmm. Now, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but a flying ship? <laughs> Yowza. Oh, like the airship thing. Yeah, yeah, you mean that giant Brotherhood Hindenburg, yeah. You know who kicked the ghouls out of Diamond City, right? That blowhard, Mayor McDonough. He'll get his one day. You watch. Probably. You ever uh. tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. That doesn't look like chess. It, that, she that. didn't say they were playing chess. Oh, okay. What can I do for our newcomer? Oh, what's your story? I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, what's not to love about immortality? Ah, you became a ghoul because you did a, a radioactive drug. That's a hell of a risk there, man. Only have one life. Why not try it all? Can't try it all if you try the lethal ones first. Yeah, I guess. Tell me about this town of yours. It's all about the people, understand? They're freaks, misfits, and troublemakers. And that's why I love them. Everyone here lives their own life, their own way. No judgments. Now, was there anything else? I like these people. They don't judge me for my green eyes. Uh, looking for work. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, we handled that. All right. What'd you find? <laughs> Let's say his art isn't going to have that much resale value once all the bodies start decaying. <laughs> 
Well, they say all artistic inspiration is ephemeral, am I right? Wish I could say that was the most twisted thing I've ever heard of, but it ranks up there. Top three. I'll put the word out. Tell people to stay clear of that area. Hiring you is definitely one of my better moments. Here, spend the money in good health. Thinking the super mutants are getting a little too friendly. Maybe we should round up some crew and thin them out. Too aggressive. They'll have a home ground advantage, plus our fighters are disorganized. When they aren't defending their homes, discipline and morale plummet. So what? We just turtle up? That's not my style. The only thing that's not your style is losing, Hancock. Trust me. We keep the game defensive. A simple castle strategy will draw the mutants to us. And we can knock them off slowly. I like it. Ooh, the mayor's right-hand woman seems pretty sly. Go ahead. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. That was it. The mayor just wanted us to go clear out Pikmin's gallery. All right, well, let's go see if anybody else needs help. Sounds good. Oh, can we see the old state house? Maybe they have the tourist brochure. They don't have the old tourist brochure, Curie. I'm sorry. In equal measure. Well, let's go to the bank. Bank, hotel. I don't know why we're going to the bank, but let's go to the bank. All right. Um, hello? Hello. Welcome to the new Commonwealth Bank. Oh, hello. Hey, you've got quite a bit of stuff there. Here's a complimentary key to our safety deposit box. Tell your friends. Oh, is this bank reputable? That seems sketchy. Hello. Leave your stuff with us. We promise it's safe. Oh, wait. Uh, memory den's great. Just don't get hooked like old Kent. Poor bastards practically stuck Hello. in the past. Hello. Thank you for the key. That leads to uh, 26 bottle caps, which we have taken. I, well, I don't think I'll be storing anything in there because that just seems... I don't like my safety deposit box just being out here in the open where anybody can stick their grubby little mitts into it. They Hello. can't if they don't have a key. Here, we'll put a bottle cap mine in there so the <laughs> first, time, first time someone opens that thing up to reach into it, it just blows up. Sure. Technically, we haven't stolen anything. We took 28 bottle caps out and put a few back in. Let's go to the Hotel Rexford. Okay. Fred? Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms. One room specifically. Payment due up front. Damn, I like how you get right to the point. Tell me about this hotel. Oh, why do they always have questions? The Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. Damn. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up chems. So, still want a room? Um, yeah, here you go. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. All right, thank you. Now we have a hotel room here, for whatever reason. Oh, man, someone new. You need some Jet, man? Home-brewed? Reasonable prices? N no, I don't. What, what, what is Jet? What is Chet? You don't know? It's the best. It just hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of ten men in one inhaler. Nah, I'm good. You got any work? You know the gunners, right? The yeah. high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's got to be some shit there that's out of this world. <laughs> All right. You get me something, I pay you. 200 caps. Hallucigen, huh? I don't know. Opera seems a little low, Fred. 400 caps. That's all I can put out? Hell yeah, 400 caps. We'll do it. What kind of gunners? The blackest hearted mercs around, you can't Fred. say that. <laughs> well armed. Organized. So, you know, make sure they don't catch you. Uh, can you can tell anything, uh, hallucinogen? Like I said, that name's killer. They probably made all kinds of chemicals worth grabbing. The gunners were willing to send a team in there, and those guys don't go after lame marks. You say that? All right, we'll do it. You're the best. The absolute best. We got a job. I just clean up around here. Do it better. Hey, I hear you need people for your settlement. Is it as awful as they say? 
If so, I might be interested. The settlement? <laughs> it's pretty fucking terrible. You're going to have to be more specific. We got a lot of awful settlements. At least now I can take joy in watching other people be miserable. <laughs> I like her. She's fun. You go to the Red Rocket truck stop. What an honor. Young man, do you need any help on your settlement? I can pull my weight, I promise you. Uh, yeah, sure, I know old place. Even after all these years, it's good to have something worthwhile to do. Yeah, you go to Sanctuary Hills. More like Sanctuary Hills. <laughs> oh, there is to be fight. Woo! Have you found Looks like someone had a bad, bad day. <laughs> yes, Darlene. <laughs> <coughs> My sensor detects a high level of chemicals in the air. Let's move out. Uh, yeah? Chemicals in the air. Well, our, no one breathe. Oh, hey, World War One gas mask. Yeah! Repeat. A chemical leak Someone has been detected. Nearby. Oh, hello. So there are some people down here. Oh, yeah, the gunners. Yeah, gunners only investigate important places like drug labs. Yep. Yep. I was guarding that button. Guard it better next time, loser. Come on, my button guard. The security lockdown. All right, you two, knock it off. Pacify time. Knock it off. Knock it off. The signs are still within acceptable parameters. Uh, uh, mine or theirs? Cause they dead, Curie. He just wants a drug canister, which we may have grabbed one already, but I don't remember. Yeah, we got you some drugs. It's a bunch of nitrogen oxide. You said you wanted chemicals, man. I just grabbed you this thing that said chemicals. Repeat. A chemical leak. Has what the been hell detected. is this? Clorox. Man, that sounds cool. Yeah, smoke it. <laughs> Ingest this chloride. You'll have fun. There's a lab here. Ooh. Hey, there it is. We oh, found it. We okay. found it. That's all we needed, apparently. We found a gas container. Perhaps we can find some useful data here. Oh, look, there's another one. Wow, we found multiple gas containers. Maybe we can find some some useful containers. Oh, also they had a mission brief on that one. Client classified. Target hallucinogen. Mission, tech salvage. Make contact with your recon team. Frontal assault. Take out opposition or automated defenses. Fortify position. Secure pre-war military tech. Client specifically interested in the Invisiwave and Eradicator weapons. Details sketchy. Access mainframe. Download schematics. Assess targets of opportunity. Weapon, weapon with the wall. So I guess we don't have to. We're done here. But apparently there are two weapons in the location. Uh, I feel like there probably aren't. I feel like that's probably... Uh, you know what? I, oh, yeah. Here we go. Test results. Uh, third test was a complete success. Your Invisiwave is five mirrors, two hacked stealth boys, and a trap door. Oh. So it's, it's just smoke and mirrors. Like, quite literally, it's smoke and mirrors. What, they sold that to the government or something? Makes for a splashy demo, but you really crossed the line this time. Sales wants 200 units by December. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> so they made a fake product, and then the, the people bought the fake product. I see. The Eradicator. All biological and chemical contaminants destroyed. Subject in test chamber received 5,100 5, rads of radiation. Ooh. Good God. Observers left the viewing room before subject's skin disintegrated. Test chamber stripped and reconstructed. So you built a two-ton machine that irradiates people. What part of handheld field decontaminator did you not understand? Points for getting the VIPs out before things got messy, though. Great. This portable deradiation gun turned out to be a non-portable irradiation room. Uh, the dispersant, which is supposed to get rid of riots. Subject survived test, failed to recover from treatment, ran screaming at sight of own child in a waiting room. Police are still in pursuit. Great. Apprehended. Sus suspect has been institutionalized. Two days later, they apprehended them. The dispersant is supposed to stop riots, not start them. This entire line of research is a joke. I'm transferring the project to Karen. Center your files and destroy your samples, then clean out your desk. <laughs> Hallucinogen gas. Um, despite new formulation, gas still caused traumatic adrenal gland rupture and frenzy in four out of five subjects. One survived initial exposure and began to acclim or acclimate before being beaten to death by the other subjects. Adjust your dosage and then retest. At least this is making progress. If marketing would just position this as a military-grade chemical weapon, we'd be done here. Would make a good grenade or artillery shell. So we found the hallucinogen gas, and they're gonna try and smoke it when we bring it back. Oh, that's not gonna be good. What is the suppressor? The suspects are su successfully... Uh, suspects successfully incapacitated. Paralysis appears to be permanent. 
Yeah, that suppresses people by not letting them move anymore. You were the lead engineer on the damn Mesmatron, and you can't even get... Uh, remember the Mesmatron? Uh, uh, it's fun callback. Uh, callback. You can't even get this crowd pacification right with one of your own prototypes to reverse engineer? What, do they mez you on the way out? <laughs> You're the highest paid researcher here. I expected better. Well, the DM is not having a good time with these folks. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the DM is. That director of marketing? I wouldn't want to be a dungeon master for these people either. I wouldn't want to be one... You gotta do your weird jump again. Oh, there's the exit right Nope, there. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, okay, fine. E Esplande. Lucy, you got some Esplande to do. What, what, what does Esplande mean? I uh, think you can hide? Whoa, whoa! Whoa, we some citizens of Esplande aren't happy with us. Ah. You guys were on break or something, didn't realize they were here? All right. Don't step on their... Gre oh. Lady, the cult's gone. We got rid of them. Yeah, we blew them all up a long time ago. There's no more cult. Hello, neighbor. I do Ooh, you've got crazy eyes. I'm just waiting for my fellow cult members to get back. They must be on break. There we go. <laughs> all right. Steal all her pocket watches, sure. Well, now oh, there's no one to get mad at me. And the nuke she keeps under her bed. Well, now there's no one to get mad at me for stealing all their stuff. Yeah, fair. All right, well, let's go back to good neighbor. Okay. All right, we're back. No, wait, no, we gotta go find, uh... I thought the name of Cleo's shop was called Guns, 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 and apparently it's Kill or Be Killed? I, I... Oh, there it is. She has guns, but... Okay. <laughs> it's, it's weird, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Huh? Cleo, Cleo. Smell that? That's freedom. It smells like rotting flesh. <sighs> it smells like you farted, man. <laughs> it smells like you ate a bunch of artichokes and then let out a big old toot. Um, Cleo, I... It, this needs to be this needs to be done a little bit better. You need to get advertising in here. Hey, you're back. Yes. How was hallucinogen? Find me something good. Chemical um, weapons. I found a drug that I think even you would think twice about huffing. That's so. Far out. Can't wait to start breaking this down in the lab. Here's your payment in full, as promised. Hey, before you head out, you need to pick me up. Buff out, mentats. Nope, I uh, super don't. Thank you. Hey, no worries. Next time, huh? Hello. Hey there. You're new around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Why do you ask? Just trying to get a feel for you. Ain't exactly the safest neighborhood, so I like to know who's gonna cause trouble and who's gonna end it. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I also might have a job for you if you're interested. We could use work, depending on what it is. Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. What with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. Bring you an intact brewing machine, huh? What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might have to shoot your way in. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? It's probably protected by gunners, right? Because they're always protecting high-value locations. I mean, I think beer would be a pretty high-value location to cut. <laughs> Stop poking holes in my argument! <laughs> is the brewing equipment going to be, like, big? Usually it is, but apparently... This machine has been miniaturized, so that shouldn't be a problem. Are you gonna take the job? Oh, it's a pony keg. Yeah, let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. Bring it back here when you're done. Okay, then. And then I'm gonna make it only make root beer, and everyone's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> it, voila. No matter how many gunners we kill, it seems like their organization still persists. Like they must have a breeding. Whoa! <laughs> no way is this worth it. It probably ah. isn't. No, you definitely shouldn't give oh. your life to guard the tap house. Ah. Oh wow, he took more than one over. shot. Hmm, I could use some psycho. There are many accounts of singers, poets, intellectuals, and others who doubled with chem, such as you. They did not end well. This won't kill me. Trust me. Camp station? <laughs> the flamingo. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's not a... 
Oh, oh I, you know what? I was going to say that's not a sniper, but he did have a Dragnov. So, yeah, technically, you are correct. I, I, I hesitate to call the Dragnov a sniper rifle, though. It's really more of a designated marksman. Explosion. This will be funny, I promise. He's like, maybe if I pretend to be dead, he'll go away. And you're just like, let's, let's, let's pose this body with a flamingo. Pose this body with... Oh, shit. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Jack and Rose both could have fit on that door. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. It's, a, it's just like, it's so it's so simple. Look, they both fit on the door. It's, it's, a, it's a fun shape. They both fit on the door, but is it still going to be floating? That doesn't matter. They both could have fit on the door. And besides, they were going through hypothermia. They wouldn't have known. The sacrifice was beautiful. I don't care. They both could fit on the door. It was just it was pointless. It was, she was just being selfish. She was being selfish. And then at the end of the movie, she's like, oh, this gem that they brought me out here and they've spent decades searching for. Oops, I throw it off the boat. What a bitch. <laughs> oh, boy, a wet dish towel. <laughs> and the lunchbox itself broke. No, it's a fucking straight razor. What? No, I, that's that was the handle. Oh, that was the handle. Okay, okay. <laughs> It had like kind of the same shape as a straight razor handle. All right, yeah. So I was I was like, oh, why is little Timmy bringing a straight razor to school to shave? What the? Whoa! Surprise! First right out of the tiles. Figure that out. Le carnage ici ne reste presque plus. Whoa! Oh, giant roaches! You will troubleshooters walking cane. I'm not even gonna touch it. I will take this cram though. Thank you, legendary rad roach. Because ah! I can... <laughs> you actually surprised me, you little fuck. <laughs> no, that. <they're... laughs> Who's? Why are you throwing knives at this guy? All right. Yeah, did I ever tell you about the conversation I had on Tinder with a girl that her only hobby was beer? Uh, no. The... <laughs> Mini nukes in her pocket. <laughs> Yeah, so I matched with this girl on Tinder, and I was like, "So, what do you, what do you, what do you like doing for fun?" And she was like, "I like making craft beer and drinking craft beer and going to places that have craft beer." Oh, and putting these bones on display, apparently. All right, cool. So, do you like what, like watching any movies? No, I don't really like movies. Well, what TV shows do you like? I don't really watch TV. <laughs> uh, this is a long shot. You read any books? Uh, reading is gross. <laughs> Great, why the fuck did I even match with you? So, did you hear that? God, no. <laughs> no. I just stopped talking to her immediately. Oh. I was like, this is ridiculous. Okay. It reminds me of a day that I had, I think I may have told you about. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I matched with somebody. I got, I kind of got catfish. She was uh, morbidly obese and her picture was not fun. And I thought, you know, I I'll give her a shot. You know, she, she might not look great, but maybe she's got... A beautiful mind and a wonderful soul. And she did. She did not. The uh, only thing she wanted to talk about is movies and uh, the media she had consumed. Mm. And uh, that was it. That was all she had. She was the most vapid person I had ever met. Great. Yeah. I. It's like I don't know how. To oh. Oh. Total Hack Magazine. Oh, it's an actual magazine. Oh, I'm hey. Right. Control spotlights. Whoa. <laughs> I wish the women on Tinder came on you that hard. <laughs> she, she just fell on top of me. Like, yeah, have you ever tried this craft beer? <laughs> It was not enjoyable. Mm. I didn't have. Oh, look, they're playing checkers. Ah. Take it, take it. All right, let's go find this damn brewing machine. Yeah. I've been running around in circles for the last like 30 minutes trying to find this stupid still. What? What, what is it for? What is it for brewing beer? It's not a still because a still is for hard liquor. I don't know. I'm not an alcoholic. See, look, they still fit on the door and the door's still floating. Yes, I know. There it is. He found the still. Why is it in a rope? Drinking buddy. Okay, it's a still inside of a robot canister. Be to not stub your toe. Um, Aww. <laughs> thanks, Kiri. <laughs> Please be advised that unauthorized hardware will void your warranty. No, what about unauthorized software? Doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Beginning startup sequence. Unknown hardware detected. Auxiliary BIOS detected. Flashing operational subroutines. He's fun. Micro brewers. Operational. We got a brewery. Internal bottling mechanism operational. Output dispensary operational. Detecting brewing subroutines. Hollow tape detected for women. Pale ale. Start up sequence complete. Dispensing sample for approval by tech 
technician, how would <laughs> you describe the testing sample provided? It's cold. So what exactly are you? Drinking, buddy. My internal microbrewers allows for the internal brewing, bottling, and dispensing of beer at an accelerated rate. I am also programmed to tell a wide variety of jokes for the customer's amusement. How would you describe the testing sample provided? Uh, I don't drink, so I wouldn't know. Understood. Suspending case test. Bill <laughs> delivery to client. Beginning transit operations to Hotel Rexford. That, okay, but that, co coincidentally, that's exactly where we want you to go. Oh, it's really dusty! It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> dust storm kicked up as soon as we got out of the, the place. That's great. We gotta, oh, we're gonna we gotta clear this place I out. Down, Hope you were hostile, that's it's hard to say. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! He's strong! Oh, he's strong! And you, he's legendary! You are getting your face kicked <laughs> in! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I have no health left. Yeah! <laughs> Buddy, why didn't you shoot a beer bottle at him? Bolstering medium combat armor left leg. Well, Ooh. that's... That could be pretty good, actually. Border damage and energy resistance per 10% of health missing up to 35. Ooh. Two damage and resistance, two energy resistance. So basically, since you were missing 98% of your health, that would have been like... Uh, doing some quick maths in my head. It's like 250 damage no, resistance? No, it's, it's up to 35. Oh, up to... Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's it's really not... It's, it's Never not as, mind! It's not as good as you would hope it would be! The, 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 the armor threw numbers at me and I got overwhelmed. Oh, wow, he moves slow. I've got Protectron legs. These legs are made for walking and walking really slow. Here I go. <laughs> Help, I'm stuck on a wall. Someone put all this bullshit in my way. Gotta go around, I guess. All right, drinking buddy, you're taking too long. We're gonna meet you there. Oh, hello. What the? <laughs> Just making some soup. You don't cook! <laughs> you don't cook! We're replacing these people. <laughs> yes, we do cook. We are humans like you. <laughs> what the f After crushing these people with a freaking car. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't like that voice. <laughs> What? You better not be going after our drinking robot. Someone flamed Yep, they're shooting a drinking buddy! Okay, we gotta take him out because they're going after the drinking buddy. No! No, they want their beers! You can't have any! You can't even drink it! It's better for your second trade! Why are you trying to kill drinking buddy? He's a fun robot friend! Yes, he's slow, but you know what else is slow? The U.S. mail, and shooting the postman is not gonna make your mail get there faster! I heard something about sucking dick. <laughs> Yourself. No, 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 no. Drink it, buddy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Uh, we'll protect you. To kill. No. I must kill. I, alcohol makes me violent, and I am made of alcohol. For clear. I believe a sniper has found us. Oh, there's a sniper, eh? Oh. Thank you, Fury, for letting us know. Continued hostilities is not advised. This is an intervention. Ah! Ah! Oh god, he's ah! coming up here for me. Oh god, there's nowhere safe. Visual contact broken. That's right, we're coming for you. That's right. Here's Zaki. Ah! Naked man. Did she just jump off the building? <laughs> she was she was not having that. Uh, again, I have survived, monsieur. Huh? What? What's up? I have spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my self-diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. <laughs> uh -huh. Robots can do amazing things. Surely they've contributed to science. When directed by a human, they have. But on our own, we tread predictable paths. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. 
Yeah, they named you Curie because you're good at curing diseases. <laughs> if I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. Ooh. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. Is that even possible? I don't know, Darlene, is it possible? Who is to say? There were great advances made before the war in cognition and memories. Surely there is someone who can help, or at least point us in the right direction. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. That might be difficult. We can put your robot brain into a human skin, because that's what a synth is. Here's Good Neighbor. Hey, Good Neighbor! Yeah, is, uh, oh. is the robot following us? He, he already made it here. Drinking buddy! You made it! Beat you here, bitch. Pretty rude, drinking buddy. You owe me a Coke. Ooh, I kind of want to modify this MP5K. We'll do that when I get back you to the base. Have a, you already have an MP5. I have an MP5, but not an MP5K! Oh, come on! It's interesting I'm breaking those down because there really wouldn't be much to break down on them. <laughs> drinking buddy! Drinking, drinking buddy! I'm not waiting for you. You take too long. You craft guns, I craft beer. One of us is superior, it's me. Here you go. Darlene, stop blocking the door. Drinking Buddy's gotta get in. You got too many robots following us. Uh, he'll, he'll be here, he'll be here. Ru Rufus, Greetings, he's coming. There he is. New friends, I am the Rufus, what the heck is this thing? You can it's that brewing machine I was telling buddy. you about. I am here to provide entertainment oh, and man. I That's awesome. libations. <laughs> I'm gonna stir my vodka just in this Get thing. it set up over at the bar and out of my doorway. Commencing normal operations. Okay. Rufus! Hey, thanks for your help. Buddy here is even better than I was hoping for. Here's your money. Hey, thank you. Hey man, thanks for bringing that robot. We're gonna break his legs now so he can't leave, of course. No, don't do that. Care to wet your whistle, or do you require a laugh? Ooh, I want to hear a joke. There is no I in denial. Oh, that was the joke, apparently. Uh, tell me another joke. A priest walks into the bar and takes a seat next to a call girl. <laughs> then he turns to her and says... Error, data corruption, punchline not found. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a good one. Oh man, I wanted to hear where that one was going. More jokes, more jokes. Charles Dickens walks into a bar and orders a martini. The bartender turns to him and asks, "Olive or twist?" Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. uh, <laughs> I get it. I don't, I don't drink. Okay, another one. That's all the jokes I have for now. Ah! More jokes! Would you like a beer? Don't worry, Zach. I'll give you some jokes. Okay, tell me a joke. No, I don't, I don't perform on command. <laughs> <laughs> There's the joke. <laughs> Do you have a mod on that just makes, like, their affinity maxed out? I don't know if it does or not, but it probably... Because normally it takes a long time for Curie to get to that point. Uh, well, I'm glad it's not that for us, because I didn't want to wait a long time. It, like, Curie and McCready are two of the hardest care or two of the hardest companions to level up in this game. Well, maybe we just did a lot of things that she really enjoys. No, you she, gotta do a lot of random she stuff. She really likes it when you go to Hallucigen and bring back canisters. I guess.